Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather and we're right in the flow now with storm two and three. And on this leading edge of two is this west northwest flow that's been hitting um, Idaho and Utah, Wyoming, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Jackson Hole reporting nine inches of new snow. Skies have cleared there now, but there's more snow on the way. Grand Targhee reporting 13. You've got new snow, I think, eight, nine, ten inches through Little Cottonwood Canyon out of this west-northwest flow and a few inches, several inches, uh, in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. So this is all on the leading edge of what is to come. Let me just kind of show you the uh, the flow right now. So this is the atmospheric river channel I've got in green coming off the, uh, and I'll just, I'll just mark this again, coming off the Pacific, which reaches all the way back into the western uh, Pacific. So you can see the channel right here. Um, slamming into the Pacific Northwest, uh, BC, Banff, and that flow curling down in a west-northwest flow affecting, sending waves of snow down through Idaho and uh, Utah, Wyoming, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. But eventually, all of two, and let me get a different color, all of two will roll down with the jet and then take a track in, and three will come in on the heels and mesh with it in a, in a very similar path, and it will bring um, even more moisture, ore graphics, and weak atmospheric river contributions. So there's going to be a lot of snow in my forecast for the west with this type of setup. Um, so I wrote about it on my blog this morning, snowy five-day period ahead for the west. I've got uh, my bullet points. Um, the period of maximum snowfall for the Sierra will be 11.6 to 11.8. In fact, I'll give you some bonus um, pinpointing of the forecast here. I think for the seer in general, the two biggest days will be the 7th and the 8th of that period. So big powder, big powder period coming up. Period of maximum snow for Utah, Wyoming, Colorado will be the 9th through the 10th. And I'll pinpoint that even more, like on Cameron Pass, the biggest day will be the 10th. Um, what about Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee? Um, PM on the 7th comes in, snows very hard on the 8th and 9th, rolls into the early on the 10th. So the two biggest days will be the 8th and the 9th across the Tetons. And in Utah, the two biggest days will be the 9th and the 10th. 9th and the 10th through northern Utah. Talked about the setup, a little bit about Steamboat. Went into the jet stream setup, and I've got this loaded in high res. So let me just show it to you right here. Let me just make sure we're on the, the right thing, and indeed we are. All right, let me just show you what this looks like. All right, so here comes the buckling jet. Big time more graphics into the Sierra here. There's 5 a.m. on the 8th, nailing it on the 9th at 5, and then the whole thing begins to translate in to the interior. And by the time we get to 11 p.m. on the 10th, it's over. The storm cycle is coming to an end, and the low is moving away with only wraparound snow in parts of Colorado. I'll run that out for you one more time. Here comes the big period, nailing the Sierra. Um, big jet support into Utah right there and into the Tita. Look at that red jet streak nailing those areas on the 9th. And then the whole thing translates through on the 10th and it's gone, moving away by late on the 10th into the 11th. So that's going to be um, a really, uh, with that kind of jet and those aura graphics, that's what's really going to crank out the snow. I also talked about timing on my blog. By the way, this is chrystomer.com. Go on there, subscribe to the blog. It's easy to do. Um, at the end of the, um, the blog right here, you see this? Just hit subscribe to blog, put in your email address, put that in, and then it'll send you a confirmation email. So really simple to do, and then whenever there's an update, it, it automatically lets you know in your email box. So let's go into timing, future radar and satellite. All right, so by the time we get into Monday morning, this is the way it looks, snow is blue, and there comes the reinforcing shot. Look at that, just absolutely crushing Sierra and the uh, the uh, the Wasatch and the Tetons and then snowing. Um, there's the 11th early in the morning and then it's gone by late on the 11th. That'd be the end of the storm track. I'll run this out one more time. All right, so there's the, the morning of the 7th, Monday. There's Tuesday morning. There's Wednesday morning. And then everything begins to move through Utah, the Tetons, and into Colorado, 9, 10, and then it's gone. By the 11th, everything is winding down, the end of the storm cycle right there. So really liking what I see. And I talk about that on my blog, you know. It's the combination. Why are we going to see such big snow? Combination of the orographics, the, the wind velocities, um, 
the, the trough itself, you can get some type of cyclonic type situation and the aura graphics. Um, so all of that combining to give us the, some of the totals and I'll go into my numbers here. I've got these loaded in high res as well. So I broke this down through, through two periods, all of today through the eighth. That's when we see the biggest numbers in the Sierra. And I'm right around 40 inches, right around 40 for Shasta, Heavenly, and Mammoth with this type of setup. I'm sort of settling into that 40 inch range for those areas. Um, you see about a foot up there at Timberline and Bachelor and Baker. Um, and then on the interior, you'll start to get some blow off. You'll get another seven to nine across the Tetons, maybe a foot in Big Sky, about eight up in Bridger Bowl, another two to three in the Wasatch and just some very light orographic west-northwest type flows in the, the, the northern mountains of Colorado. So that's period one. Here's period two. So all of that heavy stuff shifts into the interior. You get about two feet in uh, Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons, a bit less in Park City. You get uh, uh, about 16 to 24 up there in Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee. Um, so again, that's where the heaviest stuff shifts. And then into Colorado, you're looking at about four to 10, four to 10 in that period. So that's, and let me just show you the first period again. So here's the 6th through the 8th West Coast, and then everything shifts into the interior, 9, 10. As a whole, through the entire period, grand total, this is what it looks like, 6th through the 10th. You can see all of the numbers um, from the West into the, uh, the interior Rockies and into Colorado. It's going to be a good period. Again, in the Sierra, the two biggest days are the 7th and 8th. Two biggest days, Jackson Hole, Grand Targhee, Tetons are 8-9. Two biggest days in the uh, in the Wasatch are 9-10. I always appreciate you guys tuning in here. I'll keep things updated. Uh, we'll see where this goes. Take care.